So I've just um, live streamed the Battlefield 2042 Hazard Zone reveal trailer and from what I've seen and now from the information that I have gathered through other Battlefield YouTubers videos who got early access or permission to record and upload it. Oh god, I think Battlefield Hazard Zone is going to be a disaster. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into this. So for any of you that haven't seen or heard or know what's going on about Hazard Zone yet, let me just tune you in real quick. So obviously you've probably heard about Hazard Zone and yes it is a, a slight splice between Escape from Tarkov and Battle Royale, it's a weird mix and within this game mode there'll be four teammates within a squad and I believe there'll be up to 32 players or 28 players and there'll only be two extractions, there'll be one halfway through the game and one towards the end of the game. If you decide to extract early then that's fine but if you decide to stay longer to get more intel and therefore a bigger reward you can extract the second time but only up to two teams can extract and depending on how the game goes you, no one might extract, everyone would be a loser. So with that information and the other stuff that I'm going to mention, I do generally believe this hazard zone is going to fail before it even begins. So why do I believe this? Well for the starters, hazard zone seems to be really, really locked into itself. It doesn't seem to intermingle with Portal or just the standard 128 player multiplayer on Battlefield 2042. I was really hoping that you could actually trade in some intel or whatever you were strapping for in the, the battlefield to, you know for actual skins and calling cards and emblems and dog tags I thought that would have been the smart way to go about it and even some very rare attachments maybe even some ultra w rare weapons like something like the the peacemaker or the peacekeeper I can't remember what name it was in battlefield 1 or maybe the phantom bow or even though I think that is coming back outright but no, it just seems to be, yes, once you extract, you can spend it on dark market credits, which is just the way of saying, oh, you go and buy and sell on the black market, and you just upgrade your dungeon, go back in and do the same thing over and over again. Now, if this hazard zone was free to play, by the way, it's not free to play. <laughs> History's repeating itself, it really is. Um, it's not free to play. You have to purchase the normal standard edition of Battlefield 2042, Gold Edition or Ultimate Edition to play Hazard Zone. Yeah, I, I don't know anyone who's going to purchase the game just for that, but you know, whatever. But yep, it's not free to, to play. So, however, if this game was free to play, it would make sense. And this is why Escape from Tarkov makes sense because it's its own standalone thing. There's no other ties to it. If Hazard Zone was its own standalone thing free to play, then you'd be trapped in that little pocket universe and what you earn and what you get and what you can go into with hardcore weaponry, gadgets and armour would make a lot more sense. But I'm sitting here telling myself, or asking myself should I say, why do I want to play Hazard Zone and gamble for equipment that I can just go outright and just get instantly in, in Portal and just normal multiplayer? Why? Understand there's that element of, oh it's all fun, it's a risk, it's a gamble, it's competitive and I'm sure some people will enjoy it but I'm still sitting here asking myself why? I just don't want to be spending time and effort <coughs> sorry I don't want to be spending time and effort grinding away on something that I've got I've already grinded for I've got permanently and it's a way more chaotic experience which is what Battlefield players are looking for I just don't understand it. It's it just really doesn't make that much sense. You go and you get intel and other bits and bobs. You get it. You sell it on a black market. You trade that, you know, dark market credits. You know, upgrade your weapons, your armor, your attachments, your ammo, yada yada, so on and so forth, and even perks. Then you go back and you do the same thing. It just seems to be a kind of a, a lazy dead end experience from what other YouTube Battlefield YouTubers have described, and even from dice themselves it just it just seems to be a very very bland and boring medical round with no end to it so as i just mentioned a minute ago big shocker really really thought they would not do this i would not think they would let history repeat itself but it will not be free to play no you as i said you'll have to buy the game one of the free titles to get battlefield hazard zone and i just 
Again, if it was free to play, I could see us potentially surviving, but without this, no, I, I really feel like it's going to fall flat in its face still with this. I don't know, well, I, I was about to say, I don't know who decided to make this non-free to play and put it behind the paywall, but it, <laughs> I don't think it'll be DICE, I, I really, really don't. I don't think DICE stood up and went, we should put us behind the paywall because that'll be really good for the health of you know, one far of a game, no, I think this was definitely EA who probably went, nope, end of story, behind the paywall, not having any more arguments, end of story, move on, so on and so forth. I really just don't see why this, this, this seems so stubborn to give Battlefield some element of a free to play. Again, Call of Duty, Warzone as well, free to play as well, and I know this doesn't technically count, but you know, Fortnite's still free to play, even though it doesn't other Fortnite paid, you know, paid to the end situations, but so many other games have a free to play element or just are free to play in general and EA just seem so incredibly stubborn to go, nope, 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 I don't want it, nope, 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 you pay for everything as per usual. And I think given Battlefield, even if it is shitty hazard zone from at least from the face value, if it's shitty hazard zone at least it gives the Battlefield title some breathing room to expand and to attract some new players. It just baffles me. The only thing that I can think of is the reason that this is behind the paywall, paywall is is for the fact that yes, there is actually a Battle Royale coming and there's been no word whatsoever. However, that's really tinfoil hat theory at this point. I feel like the three main core elements of this game is what we're getting, end of story. So, again, it's not free to play, it's a disastrous move, history's repeating itself, we've seen what happened in Battlefield 5's Firestorm Battle Royale, it was not free to play, it wasn't the sole reason, but it died pretty much the day it came out, really, it, no, honestly, it's the fact that the devs decided they weren't going to support it anymore, and it wasn't in a great state. If, I, if that was free to play, and they put some genuine effort and time and effort I think I said the same word twice there, but if they put time and effort and money into it, I genuinely think it would have been better than Warzone. I mean, I preferred it over Warzone, you know, when I played it and after Warzone came out after and played Warzone. I think um, Firestorm would have slapped Warzone a bit. In fact, Warzone might not even be as big as it was as, as it is today if Firestorm was still breathing strong today, it's, but obviously we'll never know. So yeah. Hazard Zone will not be free to play, just to iterate again, it's just, oh, why, why, why? The, it's, and the other thing as well, we're over, the, the, this is a third thing, I'll keep this one short, is we're all so beyond hype for Portal that I think Portal and just normal multiplayer is just going to overshadow this again, and, ah, uh, it's sorry, I'm just in so much pain, oh, jeez, I can't, I'm, I'm going to have to wrap the video up here, I can't think really anymore soon, I'll, I'll wrap the video up soon, but yeah, everyone's going to be too hyped and too focused on Portal and normal multiplayer as well, not free to play, <laughs> cut more than half of the player base for that, you know, one third of the section of the game, just gone instantly as well, and if I'm being honest with you, according to the leaks and rumours, this actually started off as a battle royale, and it did, and it was towards the first quarter of its creation, they went, no, let's do this Escape from Tarkov style game. And if I'm just being brutally honest, if some, by some miracle of DICE is watching this, it, it should have been, it really should have just kept it battle royale. But the way I view this is, if, don't fix what's not broken, and right now battle royales are not broken. Wars, well, don't, don't look into what I'm, what I'm about to say too deeply, but you know, Warzone isn't, <laughs> Warzone's not broken, really, it's Battle Royale, it works, it's popular, end of story, I understand, Jews are probably going to say, Warzone's got hackers and shit, yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand, but I think they should have just kept it sweet and simple and just guaranteed a success for Battlefield and just made Firestorm 2.0 basically, especially with everything being so beyond brand new, but yeah, I, I think the two main problems with this game is going to just make it crash and burn instantly, not free to play and you just seem to go in a boring, repetitive circle and it's with, in terms of, you know, getting in, getting in until extracted, selling it on the black market, get some quote-unquote cryptos and 
upgrading your phone and getting back in. I know that's exactly how Escape from Tarkov works, but Escape from Tarkov is just that. You, there's no other kind of elements you can play. It, you know, Escape from Tarkov is 100% a gamble and a, a rest and, you know, really... Oh, what's the word? Ad- adrenaline induced it really is and it's pretty terrifying it's quite loud jump stairs but if I've got as I say if I've got a portal in that it's just like why why but I've just seen that I'm at about tw- 10 minutes 30, no, uh, 10 minutes 30 seconds in so I'm going to wrap the video up there so again thank you very much for all the support recently it's been greatly appreciated um, leave a comment down below and what you think of Hazard Zone I don't think I'm the only one who really doesn't like what I'm seeing, I really don't, so again leave a comment down below or reply to my pinned comment and what your overall thoughts are on this. Obviously I've not played it so I'm not going to sit here and give it a ranking or throw it in the bin and I'll definitely be giving it a shot when it, when the game comes out. But yeah, um, if you could subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any content whatsoever. I've got tons of shots in the works that just need to be uploaded. I'll be making full length edited videos when this game fully comes out. And I'll be live streaming quite frequently on here on my YouTube channel as well of all things Battlefield and Warzone's Halloween event when it comes out on the 19th. So yeah, thank you very much for the support. I love you all. And as always, I'll see you on the battlefield.